In this collection video, the Galactic Empire Collection, my favourite. Welcome back to the channel, Darth Rock. Thank you again for joining me in another collection video today. Today it is my favourite and my honour to present to you my Galactic Empire Collection which is probably the biggest of my collection. It's where I started in collecting. It was only Galactic Empire. And then I bought Rex and yeah, the rest is um, there. <laughs> so we'll start, we'll go through each and every one of them. We'll go through as quick as we can. Um, so I will move the camera over to the table and we will start going through each figure. Let's jump straight in and check out the Galactic Empire. And in absolutely no order at all, I'm just grabbing them from the shelf. My favourite figure of all, the original Imperial Jump Trooper, or Jet Trooper, whichever you prefer. This is such a fantastic figure. My favourite figure. I really do like this guy. Everything about him just looks fantastic. Don't have the new one. Not too bothered. Um... I might get him one day, but yeah, I love this guy. He just looks so good. Love that yellow pauldron as well. Everything on him just pops out and says Empire. And that logo on his shoulder here, he's just, yeah, an absolute stellar of a figure. And uh, yeah, a big favourite of mine. He comes with a blaster tube. Yeah, such a fantastic figure. Which if you don't have one, you've got to get one. He is just awesome. Okie dokie. Next. Now next up, if I remember rightly, it is the, I think it's the Crimson Stormtrooper. So the red armour is designed as, basically it can handle... Sorry about that. Yep, so the red means they can handle more extreme heats and temperatures. For example, Mustafa places like this and this did come in a four pack so I'll kind of point them out as we go along as well the yeah, standard stormtrooper mold the original mold just in a red but it does actually look really good in a red it's almost a um a pre sith trooper in a way but he looks cool I do like that red quite nice not too bright not too dark just right yeah very cool so i'm just randomly grabbing them from the shelf in no order so who's next we don't know until i pops up in front of you <laughs> awesome on to the next of the imperial collection so next up is the man himself darth vader from a new hope and this was the 40th anniversary while on the camera to stand and such too very cool. I do have the Empire one, which we'll look at a bit down the road. Um, maybe a quick comparison between the two when we do get to him, as he's at the other end of the shelf. But we're well, not much to see here, but a cloak as he comes around. But as he does come around to the front, he does look freaking awesome. Can't go wrong with the Darth Vader. And this is a great Vader, this one. Very, very cool Vader. A New Hope Darth Vader, episode four. Radio, on to the next one. Here is another favorite of mine, and this is the Gaming Greats Scout Trooper from the Jedi Fallen Order game, the Electro Staff. And like I said in my review of him, I don't actually have any Scout Troopers whatsoever, so. Again, a big thank you to Brian for this because he really hooked me up and I am, this is one of my favourites. Everything, he just looks so good with all the detail on him. You've got the wires and that too. He just looks great. And there's speeder bike, that's the only thing I'm missing now. But all in all, that's a coy-ass figure. Big time. Slight dirtiness, like, not big time, but it's just a slight sort of dirty look to him there. He just looks cool with everything that he has on him as well. 
very very cool figure indeed fantastic forwards all right so this is another one from the four pack that i mentioned before so and this is the imperial droid and i cannot remember his name i'm sorry so but exactly the same as the R2 that came out. Um, all his panels are in his head open too. One's actually fallen off. And he's even got the panels at the front that open up too. So I don't want it too bright or too dark. But give you an idea of him there as he comes around. Yeah, just a black and gold silver version of R2. But pretty cool. We don't have enough Imperial droids. So it's pretty good to have one to be honest. Give me more. I'm going to say R2Q5, but I'm probably wrong. <laughs> Onwards. Next up is Grand Admiral Thrawn. Now, this one here is actually from the original box line. It's not the archive one, so I got him a while ago, and I was pretty wrapped to find him in the wild, actually, in the shop. So that was pretty awesome to stumble into him. I even told someone else there that was looking at them that I'd grab him before. Because you won't find him again. <laughs> and they did. Yeah, he's such a great figure. I love the, the generals and, you know, all of these guys. They just look so good. And that white and the blue face. They do such a great job of animated stuff. that They just come out looking so good. He comes with this pistol there as well. Zoom in and up a little bit. Excuse the wobble. Just get a close-up look of him as he comes around, then we'll move forward to the next. And we're not even halfway yet, guys. <laughs> awesome. Focus. There we go. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Black Sears. Right, next. Just before we continue... Just take a quick second to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you are not, goal to 1k this year, and feel free to talk to me in the comments. But let's carry on. And next up we have the Stormtrooper Commander Gaming Greats from the Force Unleashed game. And he is cool, I love the detail and the dirtiness to the sky and that blue. And this again was one I couldn't get, and thanks to you awesome guys out there, a good fan Robert sent me this guy, and I do appreciate that, because this is one that I couldn't get and I really, really wanted. He just looks awesome, I love the dirty dirtiness there, that's just cool. So I do actually have, see that there, that one there, the 3.75 inch. Stormtrooper Commander from the, I think it's the 30th Anniversary line, which is pretty cool. So that one there sits on the wall with the other clones. Yes, yeah, Stormtrooper Commander. Very, very cool looking figure. As I said, the, the dirt and the detail on them just make them pop out quite nicely. Okie dokie, onwards. Next up we have the Death Trooper. These guys are wicked. This is the original one too. It's the only figure I actually have two of. Um, yeah, and they're both gifts. And I love this guy. He is awesome. I think the archive one only has... I don't know if there is a difference actually. I think they're exactly the same. Green eyes and all. But his detail is great. I hope that's coming up because he is quite dark. I've tried to get the light on him quite nicely there. But he's... yeah. Death Troopers are so cool. The way they look, the way they sound, just awesome. One of my favourite troopers for sure. He's cool. He's cool. We've still got a lot to go through, so I'll try and move a bit quicker now. I'll try and spend about a minute on each, but either way, it's probably going to be long. So let's move forward. And here we have one of the best figures for sure in every way. Detail, facial sculpt, Grand Admiral Thrawn, and the Imperial Probe Droid, or Torture Droid, I believe. But he is one excellent figure, 
I mean, he doesn't come with much. He doesn't even have a gun, which he doesn't, I guess he doesn't need it. So he comes with the droid there as well. But yeah, he is such an awesome figure. And I reckon somewhere down the line, we're going to see him again in the um, in the figure re-releases and such. So Grand Admiral Thrawn is... Grand Moff Tarkin, sorry. Yeah, watch out. He is a phenomenal figure. And look at that facial sculpt. Tarkin is wicked. Right, I'm going to jump on to the next one. Love this one. And here we have the Mimban, Stru Mimban Trooper, Stormtrooper, from Solo. And he looks so cool. The detail and dirtiness on him is just awesome. Even on this black cape here, you can see there's quite a lot of detail and dirt to it too. He just looks wicked. And he was a gift from, or trade, from Raymond Z. He hooked me up with this guy, my friend, and he fell over. There we go. Sadly, some of them do do that now and again. But yeah, he looks cool. I love the look of him. I need to get the Han Mimban. That's one I don't have, and I really, really want to get my hands on him. He looks so cool. But yeah, Mimban Stormtrooper from Solo. He is cool as. Oh, that was Chucky. Give me a look at the back there. Very cool. Right, next. And next we have the Death, Death Star Trooper, I believe it is. One of the weird looking bucket helmets. <laughs> but he, he's actually pretty cool. I love. I actually quite like the look of him. And you can take the helmet off too and he just looks like a um, an officer of sort. But he's actually pretty good. He comes with the blaster as well. He's got the helmet which is, as I just said was just removable. Um, I believe there was a re-release of this guy too, um, which had an updated facial sculpt, which I don't know which one I have, but he looks fine on the shelf with his helmet anyway. I just love that complete blackness. And anything with the Imperial logo on it just gets a tick in my book, that's for sure. Okay, onwards. We've actually just gone over the halfway mark. Right, and next up we have, and the only reason he fell over, I won't be surprised if he falls over again. <laughs> but yeah, he's only he's in here because he is, as you can see, part of the Galactic Empire, and as he is, so he's on that shelf. But he's an awesome figure. I'd actually wouldn't mind getting some more and just making them, you know, a bit more cleaner. But it's a great looking figure. They really did a good job with the wear and tear on him. I'll zoom in. Because as you can tell, he's pretty tall too. But look how awesome he looks. That's a great... And he he photos very, very well. Um, Jesse, the Imperial Academy, did a video about that one day. And I fully agree. He photos extremely well. And he looks so cool. Right, we'll just have a look at his back. And then we will move on. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Alright, so here I've actually put both of these guys up. Because they're, they're basically identical. Except you'll see a couple of bits and pieces. So this is the Inferno Squad agent, I believe. Um, which was a gift to me a long time ago. Pretty sure from Greg French, you good man. And this is Ox, Oxyoxo or something or other. Don't you fool. Who is one of the TIE fighter pilots at the end on the trench run in A New Hope. And he is part of the four pack that we've been talking about. So I believe we've hit three out of four of those. So we'll hit the fourth one soon. But yeah, so essentially TIE fighter pilots, but... I like the difference differences between them with the white and the silver and the red on the Inferno squad looks cool and I like their little logo as well and the obviously the Imperial logo on the helmet there is just cool just yeah tops every tops anything even the Imperial logo <laughs> 
pretty cool. Right, onwards. And next coming on around is General Veers. And I took, never had him. He took a long time to come to me. Um, and he was a very generous gift from Brian. Um, and again, thank you, my friend. This guy is a stellar figure. Everything is just, I really like him. <laughs> With his armour and that on, definitely, he just pops on the shelf. And they did a fantastic sculpt of everything. From his armour to his facial sculpt. Which you'll see a bit more as it comes around in a second there. But yeah, I mean, essentially the body and all of these guys are very much the same. There's not much difference apart from the head. But, I mean, it just makes such a big difference when they use this photo real tech. And it absolutely pops out. You look at him and Tarkin, they're just awesome. Look at that, General Veers in his glory. Right. Just trying to think of who's next. Right, next. And here we have, which was actually another gift from Brian, you legend you, gaming greats. I believe it's the Shadow Stormtrooper. I could be wrong on that one. But he is cool as, and what I will do in a minute is I will take off my black base and let the light come up so you can actually see him glow up too. Because he is a pretty, pretty cool looking figure. It did such a good job of this transparent blue that you can see there. It's actually transparent so the light shines through on him. So I will switch that off and we'll have another look at him. Here we are, let up. It looks cool, you can actually see the transparency too, and on the TV it'll look even better. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool that, it really does add a lot more of a, an effect to them, and you know, everyone's different in their little way, but that's it, very, very cool. I really, really like the look of him, and he fell over. Should have made a poll, how many figures are going to fall over by the end of the video. I've lost count. <laughs> but yeah fantastic figure I mean if Imperial they all are let's be honest alright I've hit the 10 minute mark on here so it's going to be a long one it's a long one so I apologise <laughs> right next right before I forget because they live in the shelf here and the display with the speeder these are my sand troopers now one of the three of these is an official Black Series one, and that was the fourth of the four pack as well. You tell me in the comments down below which one you think or you know is the official one. Is it the white pauldron, the black pauldron, or the orange pauldron? You tell me in the comments down below, because they all look pretty good, but if you look, you can actually probably spot the odd one out. Either way, these guys are awesome. I love sand troopers. <laughs> can't have an can't, oh, can't have enough. Give you a wee look at the back of the pack there as well, which is pretty damn cool. Almost reminds you of a Ghostbuster. So much to it. Right, I'll jump forth to the next one. And next up is the original release of the eighty eighty driver or at at driver. Whichever you prefer. <laughs> but he's, uh, yeah, again, detail is a big thing for me. And everything with detail just pops. I love the helmet. Those hoses coming down as well. You've got the detail on the back, on arms. And again, that logo just, that's a tick, tick on the box. It looks cool. It looks very, very cool. I'd like an at, -at to go with him, please. Okie dokie, next. And next up is the original release of the Snow Trooper, which is cool. I like him. Don't know why they needed to re-release him but, and change him, but he looks cool. I love, you know, how it's so much dirtier down the bottom here and goes up. That's a really good attention to detail. 
So if we come down to his feet, you can see there, even they look very nice and dirty. I'll bring it down so you can see that as they come round. And yeah, and going up in front of the legs too, it looks good. So I'm not too sure, I didn't really bother even looking at it too much, but yeah, how cool is that? I like the look of it. Snow, Imperial Snow Trooper. And next up we have the Empire Strikes Back, Darth Vader, who is cool as is always. And like I said with the New Hope one and this one, there's not a big difference that they did change. I think it's just a slight difference look in the helmet. As he comes around, I'll try and let you see. It's probably quite dark. On here we've got these bits coming up here and the front panel slightly different as well. But <laughs> it's Vader either way. But this Empire one is a very nice, very nice poses too. Look at that. There's a lot more colour with the buttons in that I find with this one. But I'm looking forward to the Jedi one because his helmet should come off too. But that is a cool Vader. Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader. Right, we've actually only got a small amount left, so... Right, next. Next up, Emperor Palpatine, Return of the Jedi. Awesome, awesome set this guy was. It was an Amazon exclusive. Um, it came with so much. Um, the lightning hands, two other faces. I do have the throne in the shelf at the moment. Which is pretty neat. Even got some good detail to that. As he comes around you'll see a bit more as well. But yeah, very, very impressed with the job they did with him. They did a great one. I believe from the other ones that had been released in the past. Yeah, they really fixed all the errors and top, ticked all the boxes with this one. And that evil face right there. That is awesome. Right. Almost done. Next up is the Emperor's Royal Guard. Which I'd like to get that one that just came out. Um, and the comic cases. I really like the look of those comic book cases. Haven't seen them yet. But these guys are cool. I should actually get another one at least to have two. But yeah. The Royal Guards are wicked. I can't wait for the return of the Jedi anniversary. As I always say, it's my favourite movie by far. And yeah, it's yeah, one of my favourites of these guys and just everything. He's actually got quite a lot underneath. I'll try and show you quickly. As you can see there, he's actually got a lot of armour and such underneath as well. So, pretty cool all in all. Right. Three plus one. And here we have the Imperial Probe Droid, which is fantastic. <laughs> if all the legs move, the claws and that at the end of them, they all rotate as well. Um, the, the head moves, these move up and down, the antennas on the top. I think this little bit moves too. They rotate here. They did an awesome job of this. I'm really impressed. But yeah, that moves as well, which is cool. But yeah, what an awesome, awesome piece. I'll move into the top. Wobbling away there, but yeah, give you a bit more of a look at the top there. Sorry if it gets bright when I do this. It's just, and then it adjusts itself, you see. But you can just see how cool is that. Really, really impressed when this thing came out. Everything was just top notch. Right. Three to go. So, yeah, so I'm not going to include the stuff from the Mandalorian, obviously. Um, check out the Mandalorian collection video for that. Um, because that's just... We're going to go on way longer than where you already are. So I will bring in the ends. The last summit ones. So coming around, just to save a bit of time, we have the Purge Troopers. So 
This is the Electra Staff Purge Trooper, and this is just, I believe, Purge Trooper. And the electric thing on the end, it's just gone past. There is another one at the end, but I've left it in the box because it kept sliding off. So, yeah, he, he's just completely black and white where he's got the red. And my personal favourite is the standard Purge Trooper. Now, I wasn't as excited with him as I was with him. And he is just, I love the look of him. And that gun just, he, he suits it so well. Such a great looking figure, such a mean looking trooper. The red and the black just really say a lot. Just, yeah. And then again, the Imperial logo just ticks every little box. Tops it all off. These Purge Troopers are fantastic. Give me more, give me more. And they were very hard to get, I believe. And I, believe it or not, was actually the first in the world to get the photo of what the, the when the game came out, Jedi Fallen Order, there was a figure that came with it, but they never said what it was for a long, long time. And then I just happened to snap a photo one day, which was this guy. And good old Darth Rock here, or Darth Rock 1 at the time. Yeah, got the first photo reveal in the world. Yay me. Little things like that. They're, they're a cool wee moment. Right, I'm going to bring in the last figure. Um, yeah, last figure. Right, so last but fine, definitely not least, we have the second sister, Inquisitor, who is from the Jedi Fallen Order game, as well as the Purge Troopers before and the Scout Trooper from the earlier on at the beginning, and a phenomenal game. It just keeps building and building and building with more, and with hype of a second one, oh, what else can they do? That game was just amazing. But the figure here is, apart from her inability to stand very well by herself, fantastic figure, really, really good. Um, you can remove the cape and add some chest um, shoulder plates, the cape definitely looks much better with that double lightsaber and that mean looking pose that she has. That helmet's cool. But yeah, such, such an awesome looking figure. They really did have done a good job with these over the last few years. How cool. Right, I was... If... I've had the shelf set up, reset up, by the time I finish editing to upload this video. I will show you now. If not, I apologise. Check out my Instagram, and you will see it there. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm just going to leave it here, because it has been an extremely long video of my favourite figures, to be honest. The, I love the Galactic Empire. It's the reason I started collecting these. Rex is the reason that I grew beyond the Empire. And yeah, love every moment of it. <clears throat> I am going to do, once I've finished, I've got one more collection video to do, which is just everyone else that I've got. You know, your Bo Boba Fett and your Luke, all the, the, you know, those ones. Um, and then I actually would like to do a video just to say... Just to show you guys who I watch on YouTube in the toy world collecting, um, because it's such a fantastic community. Um, I love the support that we give each other. And yeah, check me out on Instagram as well, Darth Rock. And until the next video, my friends, and thank you very much if you've made it this far. You are a true, true, true fan of the channel. And until the next one, given to the dark side, or as these guys come for you, and may the force be with you all.